everybody, this is me Bridget Mishan Cooley back again with another video. And in recent news where it showed that Navy Federal basically declines 75% of its black applicants, even though they have possibly $140,000 in annual income compared to a white applicant with even less than $60,000 annual income. Are we still, are we still claiming that systematic, systematic prejudice system, I don't want to use the R word, but you know what I'm talking about, doesn't exist? Are we still blindly, or are we still listening to the falseness of these people who constantly say that we are the problem because we keep creating the boogeyman? And that the boogeyman doesn't exist. It's all in our head. And we should just work very hard. And pick ourselves up by our own bootstraps. And all that stuff. Alright. So. Um, I'm not going to get into our story. But. Um, I did I did talk about our story. Of how we were denied. Even though we had $20,000 saved up. And we wanted to buy a home. In a community that was predominantly white. And we, mind you know, we were already renting in the community. We were already renting a home in the community. So, you know, the bank saw that we were basically renting and we wanted to just own a home in the community. So, it wasn't that we were even, you see, you see, all right, anyway. Let me tell you something. Do you know why they don't want to give black people reparations? Because they are ultimately fearful that when they give you exactly what they owe you the amount they owe you that you will not squander it that you will take it and do exactly what needs to be done to build uplift and assist your people in progressing to the next level and they are afraid of that for this main reason that you will stop participating in their system because they need you to participate in their system. They need you to put your money in their system. Even though they claim that you are a minority in their system, they still need the billions of black dollars that goes into that system. Whether it's through taxes or buying certain products, they need that money in order to keep the system rolling keep you down and keep themselves up above you they're afraid that if you get the money of course you're going to have certain people that will squander the money and that's with every group you're going to have somebody who is not used to that amount of money and even if you're not used to that amount of money some people like myself tend to just like put the money away and try to read up and try like because like there have been times in my life like when i've gotten like raises and i'm not used to that amount i kind of just put the extra away i use i put the extra in the bank and use what i usually use to survive so every time i get a raise i usually put the extra away and use what i usually use to survive so for instance if i use if i'm used to getting like say twenty dollars a month i'm just saying and using that twenty dollars a month for survival rent and groceries and gas and bus or whatever it is and then eventually you know i get a rate for 30 dollars i'm gonna put the extra 10 dollars away and still use the 20 dollars for for my daily survival needs because the 10 dollar is now extra because i've already gotten used to surviving off of 20 dollars so that's what i usually do with when i start to get extra money um <clears throat> They're afraid that you're going to create a system that also not only will rival their own, but surpass their own and cause other nations to want to do e-commerce with you and not them. Um, they're afraid that if you create your own system, that it works so well, so very well, that it will ultimately cause their system to collapse. And that they will be the tail coming to you for money and not the head giving you money. Um, scripturally, we know what that means scripturally, being the head and being the tail already. 
all right um so lately i've said this before and i'm going to say it again i have seen a lot of palm colored people in the lower depths of a philadelphia neighborhood and i'm not talking latino i am talking literal blonde hair blue eyed or even red headed pale skin red um what people would call even gingers in 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 lower class neighborhoods as if they can't survive in their regular suburban neighborhoods and i'm seeing more of dark skin melanated colored people moving up into suburban areas i'm seeing more and more every week when we go to our aldi's i am seeing more and more families that look that they usually shop in target shopping in aldi's and looking very fearful of us some of them very fearful some of them just like going about their business but i find it very funny that all of a sudden we're not so we're not the monsters you put us out to be when you have no other choice but to be around us. Right? Um, so, they're afraid that if we get exactly what we're supposed to get, the amount we're supposed to get, the amount, and I mean like the real, true value, the amount that you're supposed to get, they're afraid that you're going to build the schools that you said you needed to build to get the education that you needed. They're afraid that you're going to build the, build the hospitals that you said you needed, that, that you said you were going to build if you got the money. And they're afraid that you're going to build the economy and the growth. Um, the, you're going to build up the food market too as well. And you're going to build up your own banking economic market as well. And they are ultimately really and truly afraid of that they are afraid that if you really and truly get the reparations that you so rightly deserve that that's exactly what you're going to do with it and it's not that you're going to match them is that you're going to surpass them that fear is ultimately real and i am seeing that fear everywhere you see it with a lot of things that they say. You see it in the way that they behave. And you see it in the questioning that they ask you with certain things. And this is why like the, the, the prejudice thing, the R word, is being poured out a little bit stronger now. Because it, it feels as if they're trying to put us back down into that little hole that we crawled out of, that they dug for us. And they're having a hard time pushing you back down into it without looking like a villain and so they're asking themselves how can we do this in the most humane po humane way possible but still get it done how can we put them back down at the bottom of the ladder in the most sincere and humane way from reaching at the top of the ladder and not look like the villain it's too late you are the villain you have been the villain for a very long time and you continue to be the villain um that's just my two cents for today people we do need to build our societies those are the solutions we have to build our own schools we have to build our own hospitals we have to build our own grocery stores our own walmarts our own Superstores, our own, you know, and I'm saying really and truly black centered businesses. We have to have black centered businesses. Now, when I say that, I don't mean that all the other ethnicities can't come. No, they, they can come, of course. But these businesses, they are not centered for them. They're centered for black people. They're centered for black people mainly. So when these people come, they are in the minority. You understand? And the people that are being taken care of in our businesses are in the majority. So if we have two, if we have only one space at a at a at a, at a black school, and there are two there's two applicants, one black, 
one black and one non-black, it's going to be the black kid that gets it. They've been doing it for years. I mean, why why is it that every other ethnicity gets to do this, but look at black people and tell black people, oh, you need to be nicer, oh, you're this and you're that, if you do the same thing that they've been doing for years and still continue to do. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on or rant. I just wanted to give my two cents on that situation of why I believe that, you know, even in Jamaica, we're trying to get our reparations that we've been saying to the U UK people. But when you say Jamaican people, we should mean black people because all those Ukrainians that are now flying down to Jamaica and all those other ethnicities that are now flying down to Jamaica and claiming now to be Jamaicans, do they get the reparations too? You see what I'm saying? So everybody wants to be black until it comes to um, sharing the burden that black people face. They want all the positives, but none of the negatives. But anyway, that's our topic for another time. This is the Hebrew Jamaican Cool. Peace, I'm out.